my 25M wife, 25F, cheated on me with my brother, 26M, and I don't know what to do. I, 25M, am married to my once wonderful wife, 25F, for two years. We have known each other for seven years and been together for five. We had a happy marriage, but it hasn't been without its ups and downs like every other marriage. My brother, 26M, has been living in California since he got into Stanford. After he graduated, he got a job there and he's been there ever since. He was here for a week for our mom and dad's wedding anniversary and my birthday, which fall three days apart. I started feeling something was wrong two weeks before he'd arrived. My wife had been on a work trip to LA the week before and she had told me that she met my brother. I didn't find it weird as according to her they just had lunch and had caught up on each other's lives and then went fear separate ways. When she got back, she felt strange. She was distant and keen on arguing over the most tiniest of things. For example, me buying a different soap than what she wanted. I apologized and ever offered to go and but her a new bar, but she refused and said that I didn't care about her in the slightest and that I must have gone at it with seven women in the seven days that she was gone. She would smile and laugh while texting someone, and when I tried looking at her phone, wondering what the joke was, she'd scowl at me, calling me a freak who wanted to invade her privacy every chance I got. We were pretty pissed off at each other before the day we left to go to my parents' home. On the car ride there, we agreed to keep a show of happy cheerfulness as was expected from us by our family. We got there at around 12.30. I had to rush to the airport to pick up my brother as he landed at one and my parents' home was 45 minutes away from the airport. He was waiting for me at the gate. We chatted all the way home when the topic of my wife came up. He seemed suddenly a bit down as if he was overcome with guilt. I sensed something was wrong so I asked him. He brushed me off, and he remained cheerful the rest of the ride back. We weak went as was planned. Me and my wife kept up the pretense of being cheerful while we argued in whispers at night. I knew at this point that she had cheated on me while she was gone as I have faced that in a relationship before. Little did I know who it was with. The day of my brother's departure arrived. He had to get to the airport an hour early so we left at around 4.30. As we were halfway there, he did that he needed to talk to me about something. He said it was about my wife. I asked him what it was. He asked me to pull over first, which I did. He told me that during the week that she was in California, they had slept together. Aha. Uh -huh. So she was texting her all the time. It was because of him that we were having the arguments. I almost punched him in the face, but I didn't. I needed to hear more. I think he saw the red in my eyes, and he said that it was just a mistake. He planned on telling me the moment he got here, but he couldn't. He loved me too much. If he loved me, he wouldn't have done this. I told him to get the fuck out of my car and find himself a cab. He was dead to me. I drove to my best friend's house. I explained everything to him and asked him if I could stay with him for the night. He said yes and I texted my mom saying as I won't be there tonight as a friend needed me. I think my brother told my wife that I know as she's been bombing my phone with texts and calls. Some of the texts read, Where are you? Come home please, I really miss you. I need to talk to you now. Come home. I just turned off my phone and I'm writing this now. So now, I look to you. Strangers have read it. Please tell me what do I do? Do I confront her? Do I file for divorce? TLDR. Wife cheats with my brother. Brother feels guilty and tells me. I don't know what to do. These are the opinions of some subscribers. Much underscore It bothers me so much when they say it's a mistake. No, a mistake is using the wrong measurements on a cooking recipe. This was a choice. They chose to betray you. My advice, stop covering for them and tell your family what they did. Take your money from any shared accounts ASAP because she will. Get a lawyer. Either move out or get her to leave. As for your brother, he at least showed a bit more regret, but it wouldn't be enough for me quite frankly. I'd go and see with him, and anyone that disagrees. The one thing I would not do is work on the marriage. She didn't just cheat, she did it with your brother. She's a garden tool, and you deserve better. Ruling. I'm sorry for you mate. I personally am a person that cheating is an automatic deal breaker for me. They they can't respect you enough to stay faithful then they never will respect or really love you. I talked to my partner about these situations and she puts it perfectly. If it got to the stage where cheating is an option she would rather it just ends before that. She had the choice to tell you and just not do it 
but instead she threw it all away for what? Sex, a casual fling. I'm sorry, mate. I never believe that in these situations that relationships can be repaired. And if she truly loved you, she would know you deserve better than her and let you be. TBH, I think you should still hear what she has to say. Not for her forgiveness, but closer for you about the whole thing. And also to see what kind of person she truly is. Will she blame shift to you or just your brother? Or will she say it was all just a simple mistake in a heat of the moment? Either way, take what you need from it and then leave her. As for your brother, you don't have to forgive him even if he is family. He is just as guilty as her. My one fear is that they might end up together and you might have to see that at family situations. So maybe confront him and make sure he stays away from her. Say it as if you really care and feel bad you will avoid her. But yeah, I am pretty sure you know it's over for you too. Technically three. You are still young and have more in your future so don't give up. I wish you the best. Professional lie. Divorce your wife. First, she cheated on you with your brother. Then, instead of feeling guilty about it, she makes herself feel better by creating tension in your relationship so as to justify that you guys aren't working out. On top of that, she continued the texting, EA, and tries to gaslight you. The only reason she has any remorse is because she knows your brother told you. She would have continued the affair. You should immediately tell your parents and her parents. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst possible affair scenario, this is a 10. If she has slept with your best friend, that in itself would have been an 8 to 9. This, you can't come back from this. As for your brother, the only good thing was that he told you about it. He probably chose to tell you at the end of this trip to avoid confrontation with the whole family for the week he was there. Now that he gets to leave, he doesn't have to deal with everything in person. You should probably shut him out of your life for a while. Shtenka, your wife has taken part in destroying your family. He is dead to you now. Never forget the pain he caused you. You do not have to hold a grudge, but you do owe it to yourself to never forgive him. The biggest lie ever told is that we should forgive and forget. Your wife has torpedoed her entire marriage for a moment of dopamine. Speak to a lawyer. Do not take part in her shitty gaslighting and justification. You will not fix this. He was your brother. You have been betrayed by the two people who should love you the most. I am sorry this has happened. Seek comfort in a friend. Go to the gym. Try and get some therapy to talk through it. Avoid destructive behavior patterns like drinking or drugs, etc. Become the best version of you that you can be. The biggest win you can have is moving on to be better while they watch. Sarman, you need to tell your and her family and friends what happened. Don't give her an opportunity to spin a story because that's what she's concocting right now. Once you've calmed down from the initial shock, consult with multiple attorneys. Find the best three in your area. Once you've consulted with them, they can't represent your wife. Pick the best one for you and get them on retainer and go over your options and how a divorce will affect you. I'm not saying go scorched earth, but you do need to know your options. You will have to eventually talk to your wife, but only with witnesses and record the conversation. She was picking fights with you for no reason, so don't think she's above making false accusations about you. Ask her why. If she says it was a mistake, that's BS. She had all sorts of time to come clean, but chose to be mean and argumentative. Next, you absolutely need to go in no contact with your brother for the foreseeable future. If friends and family start spouting about how you have to forgive him, they don't have your best interests at heart. They are only concerned about how uncomfortable they will be in this new dynamic. The fact your brother warned your wife, he told you should tell you they have no concern for your mental health and well-being. He warned her because he cares more for her than you. She is messaging you that she cares and loves you now that the cat's out of the bag. Where were these feelings after she came home from banging your brother? Find a support system of friends and her family that will have your back. If any of them want to sweep this under the rug or play the let's go back to the way things were card, cut them out. You've been betrayed by the two closest to you and you only need supportive people in your circle right now. Good luck, bro. I'm rooting for you. Spiteful on her phone. Tell your family mutual friends, and, if you have a good relationship with your in-laws, them as well. When my ex cheated on me and realized it wasn't going to be forgiven, she told all our mutual friends and shaped the narrative her way, which turned them against me. So right now, you need to control the narrative and tell everyone what has happened. Even if none of the three of you say a word to anyone else, the stress and discomfort will be felt, and people will either beetle you about it, 
or put you in situations where you will be hurt. Next, you go no contact with your brother and tell everyone that you are going no contact. That under no circumstances should anyone pass a message on to you for him. And that if you ever want to talk to him again, it will solely be on your timing and terms. Finally, divorce your disgusting wife. Kick her to the curb and make sure everyone knows why. Again, no contact except through your lawyer. Cheating is already bad enough, but making it worse by cheating with your partner's family? Hell no. Repulsive nerve. There are two, maybe three betrayals that you're trying to deal with. You wife betraying your, your brother betraying you and your wife betraying you again by not confessing to her infidelity. There are some people that can get past this betrayal and regain a solid footing in their marriage, or course the relative becomes excommunicated in the process. And there are people that they absolutely cannot and will not conceive of staying in such a marriage. Done. Over. They just nope out that IT sounds as if you've already made a decision about the status of your marriage and relationship with your brother.